Top of their saying is, this is the time to do it for me and I'm gonna do it while I can. But my first impressions are, Cheers. Oh, cheers. cheers Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. What's up, Smarties? Welcome back or to my channel if you're new here. It's your girl Aggie, um, aka Nurse Ags. And as you can tell from the title of this vlog, I am either taking you guys with me today or throughout the week um, of my first week as a travel nurse hey. i am here in houston texas my very first time here super happy to be here mm. for those of you who are new here i'm a labor and delivery nurse a family nurse practitioner a new grad family nurse practitioner and i've tried it i've tried it i've decided to travel prior to working as a nurse practitioner. So, right now, I am like hurriedly getting ready. I actually had my first day yesterday, but it was very uneventful. Y'all wouldn't have seen anything. It was just like getting my computer login, doing modules. The hospital is huge. Um. But today I'm going to be actually going to the unit, getting a tour of the women's hospital and um, doing more like modules. Nothing really exciting. I won't have my first shift until next week. So I am doing a little bit of makeup because I'm going to be taking my dad's picture today. I'm just gonna do a little something slight. You know what I'm saying. For breakfast, this is what I have left over. I, have, I made my, um, you know, I've made these before on my channel. They're the oatmeal banana muffins, which I screwed up this time. I don't know what I was thinking. I got the wrong oats and I put almond extract instead of vanilla extract, whatever. It doesn't taste that bad. And I just put some peanut butter on it. So, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Why am I making these noises? <laughs> you guys, so I, I think the last thing I showed you guys on my channel, I'm going to insert the last few vlogs because I did, you know, on journey. I did document like my journey here. And, you know, I'm all settled in now. I've unpacked on Sunday, did some meal prepping, made like my lunches, um, my dinners for the week. I'm really, really excited about this assignment for a couple reasons. One is that um, it is a day shift position. And now I've been working night shift for the past four years and I'm over it. So I'm excited for to try something new. Also, it is at a teaching hospital. So I'll have the experience of working with residents, which I don't know why I'm so excited about that. Like, I think I think about like Grey's Anatomy, even though I know that's not realistic, but <laughs> I don't know. I guess something exciting about being around people who are you know, excited about learning and, you know, who can learn from you, who you can learn from them. So yeah, I'm really, really excited about those two things in particular. Houston has been great so far. It's like in the 90s, in the middle of October, which go figure, it's Texas, right? So anyways, let me hurry up and get dressed. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted to leave five minutes ago, and here I am. And then I'll see you guys on the next clip.
just got had my lunch had a little coffee break and um, now I'm about to work on some modules what time is it yeah it's about 12 30 so I'm just gonna work on modules and that's about it <laughs> and then uh, next week it was confirmed that next week I'll be on the floor. And I already met my preceptor, which is really cool. She seems nice. I know I'm whispering. I just don't want to... I don't know who else back here. But I just want to give you guys a quick update. So I am back home from work today. Whew, that was a lot of modules. But um, I got a good portion of it done. Um... So yeah, so tomorrow I'm basically continuing what I did today. Um, I have my POCT training, which basically is getting checked off for um, like doing glucose testing, blood glucose testing. So I'll do that in the morning and then after that just modules again. But yeah, today was pretty good. My first impressions are that the hospital is well equipped. It is a teaching hospital and i'm just like already blown away by all the resources i will have including just like the attendings the residents at your fingertips anesthesia manages epidurals it just seems like you know it's a lot more help and resources and i'm looking forward to that because you know who doesn't love that support i was talking to a couple of the nurses during my lunch break and they love they've been both been working there for over 10 years and one of them was like i've been to other hospitals and they say that they really take care of you here they really care about you here and they spoil you so i was like period mm. okay let me let me get my life good morning happy october 14th I thought I'd show y'all what I'm wearing today. So we have to wear these color scrubs for orientation week. And then once I start my job, I'll start wearing the scrubs they provide, um, like surgical scrubs. But I just picked these up from a local scrub shop and my nursing shoes in the car because I don't like wearing them inside the house. But all right, time to go. So I just got off of work for the day. Just did nothing but modules again. Um, so it was fine. It was just quite tedious. Oh, child. I also want to note and I want to remind you all. I just posted about this on my Instagram that it is perfectly okay to not have everything figured out. I know a lot of times when you look on social media, it seems like your peers have it all together, they're making moves, but everyone has their struggles, everyone has their challenges. What may appear one way may not actually be reality. So trust me, you are not alone. Me, myself, I am still like in the midst of like figuring out like long term what my life will look like and that gets scary for me sometimes if I'm being honest like you know I went from kind of having a clear vision to it not being so clear and so but I'm really 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 excited to see or for that moment whenever I realize you know when it clicks and I'm like this is what I'm supposed to do and so I'm just working into that moment. I'm like doing everything that I said I wanted to do, including travel nursing, despite the fact that people look at me crazy when I tell them I'm traveling as an RN. Um, because, you know, I'm a nurse practitioner. So people are always like, why aren't you working as an MP? And I'm like, because I don't want to. I've always wanted to do travel nursing. So leave me alone. Like, let me, let me do what I want to do, which is 
be a travel nurse. Yes, I have a master's degree. I'm an FMP. And guess what? I still have, that's not going anywhere. That certification is not going a damn place. But um, travel nursing, you know, if I have a family down the road, yes, I could still be a travel nurse, but it would be a lot more challenging. And for me personally, I hope to, you know, be with my family at all times if possible um, down the road. So travel nursing is, this is the time to do it for me and I'm going to do it while I can. But just know that you don't have to have um, your whole life figured out. Okay, if you don't, it's totally normal. It's totally okay. Just embrace the process. Keep an open mind. Put yourself out there. Network. Talk to people. That's the only way you get to figure out like what your niche is and where you're meant to be. You feel me? But yeah, I just felt like I needed to get it off my chest because... I know I feel that way sometimes you know I might be a little bit hard on myself or not, even, not hard on myself per se but just like frustrated with like maybe impatient is the better word I get a little bit impatient but at the same time like I just know I just know that moments gonna happen when it, when it clicks because it's happened to me before and so I just have so much faith that will happen again and God will just show up and be like, send me that message and that'll be that. But until then, I will continue to live my best life on my terms and my terms only not thinking about or caring about what other people are expecting, expecting of me in this stage of my life. But yeah, all right, that was a little rant. I'm gonna head home now. Oh, I'm so cold right now. This is the perfect time for me to get this workout in, child, because she he he. Listen, I can't fall off my 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 run. So let me find out which workout I'm gonna do today. The past two days I've been doing Chloe Ting. I know Chloe Ting on YouTube. She does like a bunch of workout videos. I'm actually glad it's cold in my room so when I work out, it'll cool me all the way down. Workout is complete. At my dinner, just another salad with the leftover chicken I made earlier. I, I meal prepped it earlier this week. That's literally all I've had. Hello there. So it is my birthday, and I am working today, but I have a very long weekend, so that makes up for it. I just finished my epic training. That is the electronic healthcare record system that this hospital uses. So that was about four hours long and um, I have to stay here a little bit longer to finish up some modules and to get the rest of my hours over the week so I can get paid, okay? And then next week is when I'll start the actual job working on the floor. So just want to give you a quick update. I treated myself to a glazed donut, which was a bomb. And um, yeah, just checking in. Good morning. I am vlogging from Friday morning. It's about 7.30 and I did not vlog much yesterday on my birthday because there wasn't much to vlog. I got to work at about 9 a.m. I think I showed y'all I got like the donuts. Um, I worked on some modules and then I had my epic training. I think I, yeah, we talked about that already. So anyways, it's the next morning. It's Friday morning and I'm just so just content right now. I'm watching one-on-one -on, -one on Netflix, one of my favorite childhood shows, drinking a cup of coffee and just relaxing 
I have made my top three to-do list for the day, which includes, uh, I want to edit a vlog that I'm going to put out tonight. I need to do some housekeeping and then I want to explore Houston a little bit. So, but for now, I'm just, just so grateful, so thankful. So I am back home from a fun day Sunday um, of brunch. Y'all, brunch is amazing. I feel like I haven't, I forgot how much I enjoy brunching with my friends. Such a good time, um, a really, really, really good. I went to Kroger, picked up a couple groceries for the week. I am gonna meal prep. Um, it's about 6.30 now and I'm just editing a, another vlog that will go up ASAP. If it doesn't go up by the end of today, then I'll just wait till next week to post it, but it's another weekly vlog. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Make sure you guys like this video if you like it. Comment down below as well, sharing what you enjoyed about it. That way I know to keep on making these weekly vlogs. Um, I wanna, you know, kind of give y'all some insight into what my life looks like now as a travel nurse and some of the other things I'll be doing. Also, I have a couple of videos I'll be filming this week on um, the round track, like related to travel nursing, but there'll be more sit down videos. So how to become a travel nurse, just giving you guys some tools and resources. So if this is something that you're interested in, then, um, you know, hopefully I can help you along the way. But until then, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell button so you are notified each time I upload, and then comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.